And Rob, I know that you have a very serious story about a pop star whose life fell completely apart. A shocking story about Aaron Carter. Yeah, Nancy, you remember Aaron. This guy was huge back in the day. He sold millions of records, and we all watched Aaron on Dancing with the Stars. But a massive drug addiction ruined everything. His love life, his career, and he told me just how it all went downhill so fast. When I was doing Dancing with the Stars, I, uh, I, I mean, I, you know, developed an addiction to Xanax, you know, because of stage fright, actually. I developed stage fright during the show. So here's Aaron's story. It all started in 2009. He went on dancing to try to restart his career. Instead, anxiety fueled his addiction. Started just getting heavier and heavier and heavier into the Xanax. And Leslie, my sister, you know, she was heavy into it as well. But uh, an opportunity happened where I could save my life. Leslie never was presented that opportunity. I had a ch second chance to live and she died from an overdose in my father's bed. Leslie was just 25 when she died two years ago. Aaron had already been to rehab. How much Xanax were you doing? Um, at the height, I was taking uh, seven two milligram Xanax bars, so that means 14 milligrams a day. That is three times the average dose, an amount that would knock most people out. At what point did you, you know that you had a problem and had to stop? I never really did. Someone step in? I mean, my mother stepped in, so. Her and my brother teamed up, and they got me to the Betty Ford Center. Are you clean now? Yes. But drugs wasn't the only thing Aaron was dealing with behind the scenes of dancing. He was millions of dollars in debt. You know, that stems from, uh, from the years when I was like 13, 14, 15. I turned 18 years old. I got hit with $2.2 million of stuff that I owed. The people serving me lawsuits while I was on the dance floor, you know, people didn't always know about that kind of stuff. You were being served I was served being served lawsuits. lawsuits while I was doing the interviews on the dance floor after Dancing with the Stars. And then right in front of my partner and right in front of interviewers and... Like during the show? Yeah. And it was like so embarrassing. So what went wrong? We know Aaron Best is the pop star who sang I Want Candy. He made millions off platinum selling albums like Aaron Carter and Aaron's Party. But all that cash was mismanaged by his first manager. Last year, at just 25 years old, he owed more than $2 million and filed for bankruptcy. So he went through the bankruptcy paperwork. It's public record and it lists the stuff that you still own. 61 inch flat screen. TV, cell phone, I mean, that stuff. My watch, I'm I, I still wearing it, by the way. You still your watch? It. Good, because you got here on time. We appreciate that. <laughs> uh, and then it says here, uh, your total uh, personal I'm... property, $8,232.16. Yeah. Over a decade has passed since he two times fellow teen star Hillary Duff and Lindsay Lohan. Hillary recently split with her husband, Mike Comrie, and aren't officially back together, even though they were spotted together at Coachella. Aaron told me he wants Hillary back. You know, you recently created a bit of a stir on the internet with a couple of tweets. I want to read them for you. One is, quote, don't be that stupid that loses the love of your life forever, like me. And also, quote, I'll spend the rest of my life trying to better myself to get back to her. I don't care what any of you think. Any was in caps. Any regrets to sending these tweets? Not at all. Has Hillary responded? No, not she didn't respond. But you still love Hillary? I, absolutely, I do. I'm going to do everything in my power to fix those relationships in my life. Just like I want to fix the relationship I had with the love of my life. I'm not going to give up on Hillary, ever. Aaron's back in the studio laying down a new album, and he invited E.T. to his Nashville session where he started the dream all over again. Uh, is it like getting on a bike, or is there you know, a little bit of rust to shake off? It's almost a little more complicated than that because it's like, what did I have to do to get people like believing in me again? 